Hey loves, hey, if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this wash and go, fail. Keep watching. So I just got out of the shower. The reason why I have my shower cap on is because I want my hair to remain super soaking wet. What I did in the shower was I washed my hair. I actually used a little bit of this Kinky Curly Not Today Natural Leave-In Detangler. And when I say a little bit, I mean I used a very, very minimal amount after shampooing and conditioning my hair. And then while my hair was soaking wet, I went in with the Uncle Funky Daughters Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. So I put my hair into sections and then put the shower cap over it. Okay. So that's, this is what my hair looks like out the shower. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna split these two in half. Another thing that I wanna say is I prefer to use gloves when I'm styling my hair simply because my nails play too much and sometimes I snag my hair, especially as my nails are not currently done and so I don't even wanna run the risk of potentially damaging my hair. So I'm going to put my little gloves on and then apply these products. The very first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray a little water. It's already soaking wet but I'm gonna just Spray a little water. Then I'm going to add one pump of the Uncle Funky Daughters to this section, just so I want my curls to be super, super duper defined. And then I'm going to kind of just, you know, apply it to the full strand of this section. As you can see here, take my little detangling brush Then I'm going to go in with the Intercent I Create Hold. Two pumps. I'll probably do two pumps of this. Then piece by piece, I'm going to kind of separate the strands, literally smoothing out every single strand, making sure that there is product on literally every single strand of my hair because I want this wash and go to last for seven whole days. Seven to 10 whole days and I want my hair to be super moisturized in the process. See how defined these curls are? So yeah, I'm content with how defined this is and so I'm gonna leave that there and then I'm gonna move into the next section of my hair and do the same steps. At this point, I was a little concerned because my curls weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing. My curls weren't giving what they were supposed to give. I'm used to my curls being a little bit more curly and a little bit more popping, and they just weren't. So your girl was slightly stressed at this point, but we proceed. Looking back down, my hair looks pretty frizzy and the fact that the product is sitting on top of my hair is a clear sign that this was not gonna be a seven day wash and go. Hey y'all, I'm back and this is the finished results of my wash and go. I'm just gonna take a step back. Definitely have more volume than I did last week and I think that had to do with the fact that I was separating strands from each other, but it also looks a lot more fluffy to me, so very, very interesting. I like it overall. I do think that I'm gonna have to play around with these products a little bit more because my wash and go from last week, I think I liked a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around so you guys can kind of see what I'm working with. I'm not mad at this wash and go. I'm gonna see how many days it lasts. Let me stop touching my hair. The last wash and go definitely lasted a full seven days. To be honest, I feel like I could have gone a little bit more than seven days, but then doing some fun things today. And so I wanted my hair to look a little bit fresh. So. Also, let me know down below what products you use for your wash and goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. <laughs>